Okay guys, one other thing that I'm going to show in this video is actually um, something I'm quite chuffed with actually is removing the lock and wheel nuts. My lock and wheel nut key actually got stolen from my car which is a pain in the arse and I've tried everything to get it off and then I've just tried something really really simple um, and it's, I've got it off uh, so I'll show you how to do it, show you how I did it and hopefully somebody else can pick up from this as well. Now this is what I'm going to do. Use a 12 point spanner. I'm going to knock that onto the lock and wheel nut. What I've done is knock that spanner on there. What you want to do is pull at the top of the spanner away while turning it. Because you basically want to break this collar off. comes off and then use one of these and just knock it onto it Done. Okay guys, so now I've got all four of the locking wheel nuts, so I'll quickly show you what I used. So I used a 12 point spanner, so I hammered that onto the uh, locking wheel nut. This, what you see in there, that's the collar that spins freely. So I knocked it over that. Once I did that, you want to leave about a 2 mil gap between the spanner and the wheel so you don't damage the wheel. Once I did that, I pulled away at the top of the spanner and kept turning it about a quarter of a turn and eventually it pulled it away slightly just work on that and then eventually it just come off there's a circlet that sits and if you can see in that groove there's a circlet that sits in that groove inside and i think once you're working it it does break that off anyway and then the collar comes off and then you can just hammer that out of the span afterwards once i did that i had this kit a little bit of grass there purchased one of these kits from amazon and what this basically will do, it frees off rounded uh, bolts and all that sort of stuff. So this one being a cheap set, probably just about survived getting the four locking wheel nuts off. So I hammered that on and then I got my breaker bar and worked uh, the locking wheel nut off. And they came off, once that was on and it gripped, that came, they came off quite easily. So before I get slated in the comments, was it the right way to do it? Probably not. Uh, did it cause some damage to the wheels? Uh, yes, it did but there was more damage caused to the wheels as a result of the, the first and second attempts of drilling, chiseling and trying other, all sorts of ways to get that off. These locking wheels are quite unusual because it's got a free spinning collar around the outside and that's that bit that I had to break off first. Probably won't work every time, you know, it worked for me, so that's why I want to share this video. So if you're struggling, if you've lost your key or you can't get them off, just you can try this way. But um, just what I would say is probably mask off the inside of the alloy around the wheel nut to try and prevent any damage. Anyway guys, if you've got any more questions, please ask in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you like the video. But I uh, hope this helps you removing your lock and wheel nuts. Appreciate all the support that I'm getting and everybody that has subscribed so far. Thank you very much.